Ryan, Tyler with Diesel Laptops, hooked up again to this uh, 2017 uh, Detroit. You can see the, the model year, it's a 2018 model actually. And we're hooked up with our Texa unit. So I wanna show you how good this software can be. Uh, so we're already connected to it. And I wanna show you what's a little bit unique about Detroit's. This trips up a lot of people. So first of all, what can you really do on a Detroit diesel engine? What commands can you do with Texa versus another competitor or another product line? So first of all, that's all buried in activations and settings. So in activations, you'll see I have all kinds of commands I can run here. Um, compression tests, testing output of different uh, ECUs and wires, cylinder cutout test. I go over to settings. I can do a bunch more things. Um, there's some EGR commands in there. I can do my parked regen. I'm sorry, let me go back down to, to parked regen. Parked regeneration is right there. Let me scroll up here a little bit. And let's do one of these that have the web lock on them. So pretty cool. So let's do an injector, injector codes. Sorry, skip around a lot, a little bit on me there with the mouse and it's two-handed. So let's do injector codes. When you see that little web symbol, what that means is A, you need to be on the internet to run that command. And B, you need to fill out a form and you fill it out one time and we keep it on file that gives us, that allows you permission to do these functions. And really it's a liability thing uh, with Tex and us. Uh, so here we go, injector codes. It's reading all the injector codes that we have. Down here, it's given us some directions where we could actually, if we wanted to, we could put new injector codes in this thing. So we would simply go down, hit confirm, type in the values, etc. We're not gonna do that. We didn't actually replace an injector, so let me cancel out. So what you'll notice is there's things that are missing here, uh, parameters that you may wanna change. And the reason for that is this ECU actually has several different options. So let's go into ECU settings here and see what we can change on the current ECU that we are on. And a little box always will pop up telling you what you're doing. I'm gonna hit confirm. And now we're gonna to come to this menu system. And you basically use your up down arrows to change different things. So I hit the up arrow and I can change from fan and it looks like I can go back to engine configuration. So I can hit confirm. And now I can go through and hit my up and down arrow and change different values as well. But there's not much to change here. So let's all hit cancel and go out. And what you do is you go over here to activations and you say, I wanna access another powertrain ECU. So on this particular truck, there is only one engine on there, but there are three different control units working on that ECU. One for engine management, one for powertrain, and one for your SCR system. So you need to select the one that you wanna work on. So we're gonna go from MCM and we're gonna go to CPC. And we're gonna hit confirm. And now it's basically saying, okay, let's connect to the CPC instead of where we were. And you'll see now that we have different options and features that we can do once this connects and reestablishes. So here we go. You see already this menu looks completely different. And I go over to settings and this one looks completely different as well. So let's go to ECU settings, for example, and see how it changed. Because as you recall, that's where we just were when we were on the other module. So before we had number 56 and 57, Let's see what we have now when we're on a different, a different ECU setting. So now you'll see we have cruise control, idle, PTO, transmission, vehicle, limiters, all kinds of different things that we can go into in order to make changes to the vehicle. All right, so a lot of people are like, oh, I can't see where my change is to change my cruise speed or my road speed. Or let's see what we can do with a coolant level sensor. We'll hit confirm. And it says basically, here's your value you have now. Here's your new value. I would hit my up and down arrows to change values. So I can switch it from a dual level float sensor to a single level probe sensor if I wanted to. I don't, so I'm gonna hit cancel to go out and then cancel again. And then again, you would do the same thing to go to your SCR system to make those parameter changes. So again, Tyler with Diesel Laptops, just giving you a quick functionality overview on a 2018 uh, Freightliner with a Detroit. Thank you for watching.